good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you're watching this from, whatever time it may be. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are rehousing four of my slings, the Pamphibetes species Macala, or the Purple Bloom, the Gramostola pulchra, or the Brazilian Black, the Neoholophile Inse, I hope I pronounced that correctly, I do a terrible job of my pronunciation most of the time, uh, otherwise known as the Trinidad Olive, and finally the Lassiodora Parahibana, or the Brazilian Salmon Pink Bird Eater. Now if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, and make sure you hit that bell icon so you're notified when I post a future video. Also linked in the description is my TikTok channel, head over to there and give that a follow too, and also head over to my Instagram and hit the follow on that as well. Also make sure you drop a comment down below, if, you've, if you keep tranches yourself let me know what you've got, uh, it's always interesting to find out what people have themselves. And anyway, let's get on with this rehousing video. I hope you enjoy. So first up, we have the Lassiodora parahibana, or the Brazilian Salmon Pink Bird Eater. Now this one, I very rarely see it out, and he or she will never tend to come and take prey down. Normally, the burrow is blocked off and I have to put pre-killed prey in for him and he'll take it during the night. He put on a little bit of size after his last molt so I decided to get him out of this little sling enclosure and put him into the slightly bigger tub. I think it's probably about double the size. So I think he will much prefer this slightly bigger enclosure with a bigger burrow. As you can see, before moving the tarantula over, I've just made sure that the enclosure is nice and moist, ready for him. Made sure that there's a full water bowl in there. Now the water bowls of this size do tend to evaporate relatively quickly, so I do keep that topped up every couple of days. And there he or she is, from under the cork bark. Very rarely see him out, like I said. And when I got him out of the vial and into this, it was relatively simple, and this one was too. It's never really bolted or anything, this little tea. And thankfully, it was a simple up and over from this little guy. And by the time I put the lid on, he did head straight back down that new burrow. But before we put him back away, we'll just see whether he wants something to eat and drop in a mealworm for him. Now, I am recording this a couple of days after filming. He or she didn't eat the mealworm, and I think he could possibly be in pre malt currently. Fingers crossed he is, and he does malt soon. I know it, it, I did take the mealworm out there, but I did put it back in and I did leave it overnight. But like I said, it wasn't touched. So we'll move on to the next one. Now, 
next up is one of the newest tarantulas in my collection, my Grandma Stola Pulchra, or the Brazilian Black. He came in this little, uh, what was it, like a petri dish sort of enclosure from the pet store. So I definitely think this one will appreciate the bigger enclosure, as you can see. He was quick to try and get out of that old enclosure and into the new one. Now, in the days since I have had this little guy, he has done a lot of wandering around in that enclosure. He is constantly out, walking about. It's quite nice to see him. So like I said, he's always out, so it's nice to see this little guy out constantly, unlike some of the other slings. Now again, before putting him away, we will just drop in a mealworm. He, I was told he was fed the day before I picked him up, so I'm not entirely sure whether he was going to eat this mealworm, but when I put it in there, he did chomp on it straight away and by the next morning it was all gone. So at least I know he's had a decent meal. So that's it for the Grandma Solar Pulchra. We'll move on to the next one now. Next up is my Pamphia Beatius species Macala, the purple bloom tarantula. This is the guy that I was worried about most, especially being in such a small enclosure. And he's relatively big for a sling, now anyway. He has proven to be one of my more bolty tarantulas. Um, a couple of weeks ago when I was feeding the slings, my wife, or sorry, I asked my wife to hold on to the tongs with the roach just while I uh, watered him, or well, not watered him, filled up his water bowl. Now what my wife did do, she decided to feed him herself. So she put the tongs down and let the roach touch the uh, substrate. And the guy dived straight for the roach. I would really wish I'd have got it on camera, but unfortunately I didn't. Dived onto the roach, my wife panicked because she is terrified of spiders and she's not really gone near him since. But this guy is a brilliant feeder, generally. And he does bolt around his enclosure quite a bit once you go in there. So I was more anxious about rehousing this guy. I expected him to try and bolt. But as you can see, just when he tapped him to try and get him to move, he went for the tongs. He's got a bit of an attitude, this one. And again, second time going for the tongs there. Just trying to get the angle right to get him in. Now obviously I did reuse all the water bowls in the new enclosures. If you didn't already guess that one. Now, this one was a little bit stubborn didn't seem to want to go into the enclosure on his own so I did pull out the vial get him into the vial and transferred him over that way like I said out of all of the ones that were rehoused I knew this one would be the pain in the backside got him into the vial pop the lid on just make sure he didn't turn and run got a decent enough look at him Unfortunately, there was a bit of glare from the light above. But we just put the vial in and let him come out.
Luckily, he went straight for the burrow. Got some stunning oranges. Now again, this is another one that I believe is in pre-malt because generally, as soon as a food item goes into the enclosure, he pounces straight away. He did, it did look like he was going to go for the mealworm here, but he didn't. I did end up taking the mealworm out later on in the day. So, last but not least, let's move on to the Neoholophele Inse. So, the Neoholophele Inse, or the Trinidad Olive. As you can see, he webbed up his old enclosure pretty nicely here. So it's unfortunate that we are going to be tearing that apart. But we want to move him into a bigger enclosure and more importantly, a more uniform enclosure for all of my tarantulas. So, you know, because these tubs are stackable and they take up slightly less space once they are stacked than the other enclosures. I didn't really like stacking the little sling tubs. So as you can see, he was straight up and over. So this one was a fairly straightforward rehousing. Now I didn't get on video dropping in a mealworm for this one, but I did put one on and um, he did take it down and eat it. He is a good little eater, that little Neoholophilly Inse. Well, thanks for watching this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the rehousings of my slings. Uh, as I said in the voiceover, the Panthabetes species Macala always tends to be my most bolty tarantula. And I was quite worried that he will do a runner, but thankfully he never. So if you did enjoy this, please make sure you leave a like. It does help this channel out and the video be pushed out on YouTube more. Uh, hit that subscribe button and make sure you ring the bell icon so you're notified of all future videos. Drop a comment, like I said earlier, uh, with what tarantulas you own. And I'll see you in the next video.